हरे कृष्णा द रेजिलियंस ऑफ द ह्यूमन स्पिरिट रिफ्लेक्ट्स आवर लॉन्गिंग फॉर एंड आवर बिलोंगिंग टू ट्रांसजेंडेंस द ह्यूमन स्पिरिट इज एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी रेजिलियंट लाइफ इज अनइमेजिनेबली डिफिकल्ट द काइंड ऑफ डिस्ट्रेस दैट कैन बिफॉल पीपल आर और horrifyingly devastating and what is surprising is that despite going through so many distresses people still pick themselves up and move on in life that if we just hear this kind of difficulties that people have gone through we will be amazed how can somebody live through this how can somebody go on through this at one level of course it refers to it points to the strength of character of that person and we might say that other people are not able to do it and they are weak and these are strong and while such character traits are true but if we look at the overall nature of existence then we can see that the human spirit has an extraordinary extraordinary level of resilience to bounce back from devastating distresses now where does this resilience come from if it were just something that some people possess and other people don't then life would seem not just brutal but brutally unfair that that some people just have not been given the muscles to face life's problems why like that actually everybody at their core are is a spiritual being and that spirituality is manifest in some people in a in their resilience but that capacity for resilience is there in our spirituality itself because when there are so many distresses why do we pick ourselves up because we innately believe that life can be better that life deserves to be better now this hope is a transcendental hope it points to our longing for transcendence maybe there has to be a better way of living there has to be a better life now where is that to be found that the bhagavad gita describes is found at the spiritual level that spiritual level every one of us is a soul a divine being and we all can attain that spiritual level by learning to love the supreme spiritual reality god krishna so krishna in the bhagavad gita 933 states anityam asukham lokam imam prapya bhajasva maam anityam asukham lokam it acknowledges that this world is temporary and it is distressful but then therefore it says bhajasva maam devote yourself to me so because we are parts of god because we are meant by our spiritual birth right to have a eternal life of joy just as god has that's why despite all the distresses of life we still keep trying for a better life geeta wisdom can guide us so that we can direct this trying constructively so that we can realize our spirituality and then this resilience can take us to transcendence we belong to transcendence we belong to a spiritual level of reality because mama evam sho jeeva loke jeeva bhuta sanatana 157 gita says we are all parts of krishna and to the extent we connect with him to that extent we relish our transcendence thank you hari krishna